Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode I would like to look at some of the sort of new features in Quark. Um, I've not really sort of played with any of the stuff in Quark. Well, knowingly, but you're actually playing with quite a lot, strangely enough. So let's have a look at the first thing. So the first thing to look at is actually the, is the options you've got in it. So if you press escape, go to mod options, come along here and type in Quark. If I can spell it, of course, which is always a problem. <laughs> you get this one. So you can click the configure button and you can see here you've got a lot of different features. So, for example, you can click on automation. Uh, and it gives it gives you all sorts of bits and pieces. So animals eat food, floor food. So in other words, you put some food on the floor, an animal will eat it. We'll have to go and test that one. So a dispenser will, will play um, records. It'll dispense seeds. You've got metal buttons and you've got this piston breaker blocks. Now they're a bit hard at the moment. And pistons move uh, enter tile entities. So there we go. You've got the chute, dispenser places blocks, an ender watch, which is actually old, an obsidian pressure plate. Um, pistons push and pull items. And we've got a rain detector. That's just one example of, well, actually, there's two pages of this. So you've got a redstone uh, randomizer and a sugar block. So I'm not sure how you what you do with a sugar block. Let's have a look at a sugar block. I've got plenty of sugar in here somewhere. Other than it being a mob, mob drop, I'm also getting it from other places. We can actually make a sugar block, so it is, which is a three by three block of sugar. There you go, one sugar block. You can actually does dissolve in water, I believe, as well. And let's put this back in here. I don't know the water of that sugar. So we put this over by some water. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go to another item, the chute. This is the chute here. And the recipe for the chute, fairly straightforward, just mm, six pl six log uh, planks of any, basically any wood, I think, and it makes a chute. Now what the chute does is it drops things straight down. So let's, for example, put, um, I suppose, just put some scaffolding down here so we can actually have a tower like that. And I want a hopper, maybe I've got a hopper in here. Yes, I have, good because you can't put anything directly in the chute and what it's supposed to do the chute is supposed to drop items directly below so let's put the chute say uh, on here like this I want to put one more layer on top of that like that put the chute here and then on top of the chute we can then put in a hopper because you can't put anything on the chute at all so for example if I've got in here and I want to put the you can't right click it got no interfaces you can't come along and right click well you can right click it with some sugar but that's not very much is it so we can break that with no tool. So if we can put a hopper down. We can put a hopper that goes into it like this. And then we can put the, sh the, sh the sugar block or anything we like into this here like that. And it drops straight down. Right into the middle of that block. I'm not sure what the uses of that is, but... except for this one, <laughs> which I've been using as a, a basically a waste bin. Now it does have a waste bin, but that's actually disabled, I think. So next thing, we have obsidian pressure plates. Now let's go and have a look at obsidian. Because in this pack, obsidian is slightly harder than some of the modded packs I've been playing with before. Uh, it's more restrictive as to what you can do with it. So let's go down here, path to tree farm. I've changed this to a tree farm from a, a various uh, mixed crop farm so we're getting a load of wood in here in fact it's already full up <laughs> oh dear i to get rid of some of this sand I could use the sand as well obsidian so here I've got a a tank and it'll be full of water let's just remove the tank here pick it up if I can oh well, I need some armor oh yes that's a good idea let's just do the armor first of all because it's one of the nice things about this, and I didn't know. I've showed you this before, actually, last episode, I think. Some armor stands. Let's go and get these armor stands. There must have been a block of pollution here. What you can do is shift right click anything into an armor stand. So here's an empty armor stand. So what I've got on at the moment, I can put directly into the armor stand. So if I press F on this one, um, it puts it into, off, into my offhand, and if I shift right click, everything including the, the shears goes into the armor stand so that's quite useful so what I want to do is actually have this armor on here 
like that because that's my magnetic armor helps me pick up things is it night time already all right sunset so i've dropped this block down here didn't i and i picked it up and i can do the same thing over here for uh, lava this is the one i've got for lava in here and this is a, just basically a squeezer and this squeezer's got in it some sand and some phosphor from the from the bees as it happens see one of those combs will give me that and i've put a trap door down here so i can actually break this block here i need my pickaxe of course yeah good so what i do with these two is i come along here and put them into different places so for example this is where i normally put water and that will fill up this automatically and then I right click that and then it goes into a, a casting channel and into a drain and then gets fed into the um, smeltery. Now you can't always do this. It depends on the, the mod pack. Lots of them disable that feature. So, so this one again, this is lava. So we can do the same thing with lava. We can feed it into a channel, goes into the smeltery and we can have a look at the, on the control and we should see we've got lava and water coming in here and that's making obsidian. What I haven't shown you also is this. This is a timer from Immersive Tech, Redstone Timer. And at the moment, it, it basically pulses. Maybe I don't think I've shown you. I haven't shown you the recipe for it. Let's have a look at that one, by the way. So let's have a look at um, Immersive Tech. This one. So it's actually reasonably expensive because it's got three circuit boards. Another quartz and a redstone wire connector. So circuit boards are basically made with two vacuum tubes and this insulating glass. That's quite an, an awkward one. Uh, you may have also noticed on the table here, this has changed. It's now got a cloth, but that's not in part of this episode. As you see, all of this is now filling into here, and this won't fill up the smeltery. It's basically 12 blocks of water. And here, so I've got 20 blocks on here. So all I need to do now is right click this one and it'll turn it on. So that's now off. So off basically enables this. So it just then this pulses and you've got, at the moment it's set to 0.5 seconds. which I think it's the minimum time. So then that fills this up nicely. And those blocks are going to come out and come into here. I want to for the next demonstration. So let's leave that alone now. And let's go and have a look at this one. Let's put those onto the crafting table here and make an obsidian pl pressure plate. Now the obsidian pressure plate I have already mentioned once a long time ago. So let's go and have a look at this thing. Yes, I know it's night time, but for what we're doing at the moment, it doesn't matter that much. We've got plenty of uh, protection around this base. Well, hopefully we have, as long as the cables don't break. That is actually very frustrating, I have to be honest with you. The most frustrating thing I've seen is cables breaking for for snow, for example. It's just uh, doesn't really make much sense, does it? So we put this down here like that, and then put the pressure plate on here like that. And then we stand on it, it gives, generates a redstone signal, but it's player-only redstone signal. So if I throw something else onto this, if I can get it on, but I've got magnetic armor on let's move that. Let's put this bucket of sugar over here and see if I can throw it onto that. Miss, try something else. And yeah, that's on it. It's not generating a redstone signal. For animals won't do it, mobs won't do it, it's just players. Which is really useful. I've been using that in the bases anyway. I'm not quite sure why these chests flash light, but there we are. There's also something else I've noticed. I don't understand this. Let's press F5. If you look beside me, I've got a hook and a block underneath it. What's that caused by? I have no idea. <laughs> if anybody knows, let me know, please, because I really got no idea what that thing is. As every time you lie down, if we're going to lie down now, for example, well, you see it. So we just lie down here, it's because it's, bed, because it's night time. Oh, no, I don't see it. Well, you see, I normally see it in front of me here. But it's not there this time. So I have no idea what that is. So next item in the quark list, let's have a look at the a menu here. There's a lot of items in quark. Let's just remove the redstone timer. We don't need that anymore. These are just items. 
they're probably quite well known. I think that's mostly what Quark was all about at the beginning of Quark. Doing these different coloured items. Then you've got these iron ladders, for example, which I made some of. Now, iron ladders are like wooden ladders, except for you use iron instead of wood. But what you can do with these, let's find a place that we can go and do it. Is they, they will go straight down from a vertical place, for example. Probably not a very good place. So let's just put something on a wall here. Let's put this block of sand, let's put this block of sugar on the wall. Oops. Ah, oh, it drops down like a normal wall. Okay, let's put this down here then. And then you can right click these like this. If you go to the right place, you just right click it. And you can then walk up these. So it doesn't need a supporting wall behind it, which is actually quite useful, I think. It's also got another feature in Quark, talking about ladders. I'm going to have to go and find a high place to go and do this, or somewhere maybe not that high. Let's get some ladders. I think I've got some ladders in here, 20, 64 ladders in here. That's a little bit of lag. Let's go up a wall. I've been using this recently because I didn't actually realise it existed. Let's go up here. You can see the base, let's just just click my way over here. Now, for example, what you can do with ladders, I don't know if this works for the metal ladders, but it certainly works for the wooden ladders. Let's put this wooden ladder down here, for instance. If I shift right click that now, it's going to put one below it right till it gets to the ground. I don't know if the same thing works for metal ladders. Let's just try that. Oh, it does too. So you can basically do that and you can then walk down these ladders and it's gone all the way down till it hits something it can't do go past. Obviously with iron ladders it's not going to make any difference, but stair wooden ladders it will. So that's pretty useful. There are lots of lots of little trick things in this pack and they're all sort of coming in at version twelve, I think. Um let's have a look at pistons now. And dispensers. I'm sure I've got I'm sure I've got a dispenser or two in here. There's a dropper, there's a furnaces. No, I don't have a dispenser. But one of the things with quite you can actually turn a dropper into a dispenser, I think. Um, with some string and some sticks. String, string, string. It's over here. Mob drops, I get a load of it. I think that might be enough. We'll soon see. So if you look at the uses of a dropper, you can do this. And that gives a dispenser. And the recipe for dispensers is normally like this. But this is the Quark recipe for it. So Quark adds this recipe to the to the thing. So Quark also adds a recipe for chests as well. So for example, if you've got four, some wood planks, you'll make a chest, no problem. But if you take uh, eight of these, eight wood logs, I hope I counted that correctly. I did, good. You can then make a, a chest, and that makes four chests. Basically the same. Two pieces of, two plank, uh, two logs make one chest, so that's those. In fact, I probably need chests. I'm always needing chests. Let's make them anyway. I don't want to put them in here, so nearly always need a chest or two, especially at the moment, because even though I'm in, I've got lots of chests around for various purposes. Um, I'll leave that for the time being. I don't want to break anything at the moment. So now let's just put these away. Uh, don't need these ladders with me at the moment. We can do leaves. We've got leaf blocks. We can make carpets out of leaf. Would you believe it? So we can make a carpet like this. Then we can put this down, just like ordinary carpet. I was going to do food, wasn't I? So we got because it makes a nice sort of squidgy noise from walking on leaves, as it does before <laughs> if you're in a tree. <laughs> what else have we got? Now, yes, this was I was. You remember this? This was a new, a new thing. It tells you what's on it. If you change the pattern in front, in here. So, for example, I've got uh, specialized projectiles. Let's put that one into this one. See, it's got it's got projectiles. So you see all these little weapons, go little cartridges in here. I think that's one of the ones, the special ones you have to get from. So we've got arc furnace electrodes. Let's have a look at this one. So it just shows you that one bar. Quite useful. Let's put the other ones back. Um, that one I don't need. I do want the. I'm normally using the components anyway, so we'll put the components back into there. Like that. Don't need the leaf blocks anymore. Let's get rid of those, and we don't need the string. Let's get rid of everything we don't need. 
So feeding animals, that was it, I think. So let's go and get some wheat. There's a few there's a few uh, animals around, which are both sheep and uh, cows over this over this side here. And there's a donkey as well. I don't know what donkeys eat. That's where I normally go and get my milk from over here. Just walk past the the power. It's actually much, oh, there should be a cow at least one down here anyway that's one at the top there here's one so if I now throw a, this on the ground yep he picked it up didn't have to help him he just did it himself I have got any more than one cow at a time there we are put this one down just see if that works again stand back oh he didn't pick it up that time come on you can have that one He's not picking it up, so I'm not a cow, it is a cow. <laughs> There's another cow, let's try him on this one. Oh, actually, all right. Oh, it must have picked it up because it's produced uh, an offspring. There we go, one baby cow. You can't click him at the moment, it just. Oh, he does grow. If you click him with some things, he's got some growth things on him. So, what else can we do with Quark? Let's have a quick look. There's a redstone randomizer. I'm not sure what the uses of that's going to be. Just basically, it changes the signal. Randomizer is a redstone signal between multiple paths. I'm not sure quite how useful that is. And we can also do things with. There's a few we can't do. By the way, this is an IP tree. If you want to know what that is, um, certainly at the moment, it's got the rods. Now there's a rod in here as well, which I think is this one an iron rod from quark what you can you see what the reason i can't do is i need an end rod and i'm not round to getting to the end yet and two ingots but if i put this rod onto a piston it will break blocks so it's a block a block breaker oh yes i wanted to do this one didn't i let's go back to the base and um just get that i'll put it in there in a sec right here's a dispenser it says it he can dispense blocks let's put a oak some oak planks in there, see what happens if we dispense this. Oh, yeah, sure enough. What happens if I retract that? It stays there, doesn't it? I have to break it manually. Let's do that. I know whether it can do things like chimneys because those are sort of uh, non standard. Oh, yeah, it does chimneys too. That's great. Right, it says you can also do seeds. Let's try a seed on it. Now, have I got with me a hoe? No, I don't have a hoe. I'm not sure where my hoe is to be honest. Let's just have a quick look in this backpack. No, it's not in there. Maybe it's in the maybe it's in here for the time being. No, nope, I don't know what I do with my hoe. My mattock is around somewhere. I know that. Maybe it's in here. Nope. <laughs> Come on, mattock, where are you? I haven't been. I haven't used it for ages, to be honest with you. Oh, I know where it's going to be. It's going to be my bag here, isn't it? So let's get a hoe and let's get a seed. If you can plant seeds. That might be useful. I don't know whether it's going to be useful. Let's remove those. Put the seed in there and then turn it on. It won't work until I actually break the glass. Oh, this is have to put that down there and then we can hoe that. I mean, sure enough, it plants a seed. Brilliant, isn't it? Whether that's useful or not, I'm not 100% sure at the moment. Because you can't break the seeds manually. So, and if you have a row of these dispensers, I, I'm not sure what the uses of all of these things are. Next one. Pistons move entities. Let's go and get a tile entity. Let's go and get a piston. I think I've got some made. I usually have a one or two around. Oh, don't see any at the moment. Let's make a piston. Don't really need the recipe for pistons, but it's easier, isn't it? We're missing red, red, red stone. Let's get a red stone. Let's get two, make two pistons. Yeah. So it says they move tile entities. Uh, well, whether dispensers are tile entity or not, I'm not sure. Let's just try it. It certainly moves chests. So let's just put the piston down here, facing me in this direction, I think. Oh, yeah, it moved that all right. <laughs> As you saw, and it also knocked off the... Um, why did it... Is it because it was on? I think this was had a redstone signal on here. So it actually knocked the... Um, lever off it that's quite 
interesting, isn't it? So you possibly can then use a piston going up and down and plant lots of seeds if you do it that way. I guess that's part of the idea of that. You can also move chests. Let's go and break this. Make a chest. Oh, we got lots of chests. Oh, I need a piston. Uh, big X. I like to break it. Let's go and get a chest. In fact, the web page is pretty good for this stuff. I will be honest with you. So I really don't need to explain everything. Let's go and have a look at the web page because it is. It's all divided into the categories that we've got. So here's a piston. Here's a. I need a lever. Let's just. I want that. I don't want to lose you. I want these. At least I just want one of them. I don't, I don't need the chimneys with really. Let's put those back into there. So you can move a chest as well, of course. Let's try that. Put down a chest, but let's put a lever on it. Put a lever here, can't I? I need to push that out. A sticky piston would pull it back again, of course. Uh, it says you can also do other things with pistons as well. So let's make a hole down here. And you can put a piston down so it faces us. Like that. And then you can put things on it. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to put on it. Let's just get rid of this armour. Let's put one of these onto it, see if that will work. And I hit it, boom. Yeah, it throws it up and down. <laughs> so that's another feature of Quark. I haven't tried that one before, I will be honest with you. Um, I'm not sure what the use of that is. What happens if I stand on it and don't do that? I don't know, it doesn't throw me in the air. But there we are, that's that one. And it's, uh, we've been through all the tweaks. Let's have, is there anything else that's interesting in here? Just a second, I'll have a check. One thing that you can do is that its compasses can be used everywhere, including the end and the nether, and they'll point point back to there. So it's nighttime. I'm going to go quickly. There you are. See, now you've got my little hook, whatever that is. I have no idea. Um, let's go and get a compass. Have we got one here? No, there's a clocks. See some clocks. So we know it's into spring now, so we just need four pieces of iron. Have I got a compass in here? Anyway, yes, I have a look. Just take an ordinary compass. So this one will point me back to um, basically spawn, I think. Should point me to a portal. Let's go over. Let's go into the Nether. I'm just wondering if I need any armor when I go to the Nether. I've got my bees, but they're out of range. having a quick check around so now it's pointing back to this portal here as you can see in the middle here if we put this into our offhand you should also be able to see it pointing to it. it's one of the useful things of the offhand of course so if we move around here I've got to be careful when I go through this side because I don't have my bee protection with me so as you see it's pointing down there that's where the portal is. It's not pointing to this portal because I didn't come through it. So it's only pointed to the one that's there. We haven't been to the end yet. I found the strong a stronghold, I told you already, I think. So next time I've got to find a way to be able to do the Ender Dragon without any creative flight. I have never done that. Because I don't play that much vanilla Minecraft. So but we do have a hang glider and we also have some very good armour. The Constructs Armoury stuff is pretty good, so we can have a look at uh, that one. I've already got one piece made up. I haven't finished that one yet. I've got one more modifier available to it. It's uh, made from manulum, and it's got a slow fall on it. And that is one of these two. It might be... I'm not sure if it's this one or not, actually. What's that one got on it? I think this might be the invisibility one. What's it telling me? Oh yes, that's got the invisibility. Maybe that's useful for the Ender Dragon. I don't know if it is, then I might be using that one. The other one I've got on is here, which has got uh, armor toughness, and it's got reach on it, and it's also got, doesn't tell me, it should tell me I've got, oh yes, there we are, slow fall. So that really is slow fall. Let's just put it on and show you what I'm talking about. I know this is a, not part of the the content of this video today but it's possibly worth seeing because the damage it does is 
doesn't do it allows you to do it is amazing so we go around here I should have some way to get up here oh, this by the way was the other one I put over these aluminium scaffolding slabs they don't look quite so good from the side but they look pretty good from the top so if I just jump down here I'll take some damage like that now it did what about two hearts of damage <laughs> significant that's why this water pool is by the way is here so I can jump down and land into that when I get to the top here but if I put this on now and press it, shift H it's the same key combination as you use to access the other things it says it comes up on the bottom and if I look at that it says should tell me I've got slow fall activated slow fall active status active so drop down here and you can drop down very slowly so that's probably the best way to travel this of course it does damage so this is now taking damage here so it's 515 I don't know what it was before let's go and check I can't go in that way I've got to go around here to get to that but you might, you'll notice I don't really care that much about uh, so 615 isn't it let's just turn it on a second and drop down again turn it off again let's have a look so 611 so it's done quite a lot of damage so I think the next modifier is going to be there to increase the durability of this thing and I think that's possibly it so that's it for this episode I hope you've enjoyed it you can see my regen bubbles coming here from the bees of course very useful but in this back when you've got uh, regen it's actually relatively tough you can't eat to regen um, I would like to do some more automation with the lava because that's for, to make obsidian is what I'm talking about so we need to automate the um, obsidian and I think I'm going to use redstone automation valves for doing that fluid valves where you can control the flow using redstone signals quite neat um, and then after that well I suppose we're gonna have to go to the end at some stage so until next time I wish you all the best bye for now what happened to my wave? Didn't work very well, did it? <laughs>